Hi everyone, this is Paul Sidorian from Security Weekly with Bourbon from InfoSec World. The interviews always come out better when there's bourbon. <laughs> Greg Fitzgerald from Javelin, what did you say? Sorry. Javelin Networks. Javelin Networks, I knew that. We're good. It's the bourbon. I, you know. <laughs> Javelin Networks, welcome Thank to you. Security Weekly. Thank you. Um, we are doing uh, a lot of interesting kind of questions. We have different sets of questions. You weren't specific. So your questions are going to be about javelin throwing in the history. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> your questions are going to be about security philosophy. Okay. So what is one common trait that you've seen in organizations that have suffered a breach? Frankly, they're looking at security as just a component of risk. And it's like insurance, realistically, right? You're going to spend only so much money towards your insurance. And those that underinvest, or hence like your house, underinvest in your house, if it gets burned down, you're hosed. And I think that's kind of the biggest thing I see, you know, for most companies, lack of investment, lack of attention on what's important. Because one of the things you look around this conference, which I love, is starting to show next generation technologies, some of the latest technologies that are out there. And if implemented properly, configured properly, they do a great job. And when, that's a big caveat. Oftentimes I find people not implementing or configuring products correctly. That's, that's I have a, we have a real life example where we, our solution is trying to be implemented, but it's being held off because of a prior technology can't get implemented properly, mm -hmm. which in the way we look at it is they're kind of solving uh, the symptoms rather than the core. Mm -hmm. So we're like, you guys wouldn't be worried about the technology implementing if you would just stick ours in first. So the common issue is that prioritization of what really solves the problem. Yeah versus those that might solve other issues but not nearly as important problems. So, Greg, I'm just going to deviate Throw from the away. script a little bit because <laughs> uh, I want to talk about, about this and, and okay. where your technology plays. A lot of times what I find is that when we look at Active Directory ah. and the way an organization, because this is where your product plays as an That is directory. correct. My biggest gripe with Active Directory and organizations that implement it is they're not applying security the way that People like when I was pen testing, my friends that do pen testing today are recommending making them very vulnerable. Right. Why Why do you What's think is that? I mean, in, you're very close to this problem. Why don't people deploy Active Directory with the proper security controls? You, you know what I think is interesting? I don't think people truly understand Active Directory as an application itself. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a skills game. It's a skills game. Yeah. Like the hardest companies that are to get into for like from my own experience and my friend's experience pen testing today. Yeah. They're like if they've got someone that knows AD really well, they're like, dude, it's hard. It's hard. But that's like I want to say one to two percent. Yes. Which is, is sad for me. Yeah. I, I want a harder pen test for us, right? <laughs> like, I, I want you to, like, take care of that low-hanging fruit with an AD, but no one does. Nobody does. We found that companies, uh, not only do they not have enough skills, but when they get consultants, the consultants may only configure certain elements that they know. Yes. And then they may not even upgrade the platform. So a good example, Windows 2008, but you should be on Windows 2012. Well, you didn't upgrade. Therefore, but then consultants leave. That's and, right. And AD security is a constant is a constant thing. That is exactly right. It's a living, breathing, on a daily basis. So what Javelin yeah. does is we take a snapshot of the directory and how it mm -hmm. looks. Then what, what Javelin does is it extrapolates that environment with a bunch of false attributes. Mm -hmm. And then through a memory injection, through native uh, Active Directory mm -hmm. distribution, we inject that image into each and every endpoint. So what's mm -hmm. beautiful is when an attacker gets on a machine, which mm -hmm. they're inevitably they're going to get on one, mm -hmm and they do a native command of an Active Directory lookup, they're gonna see, in essence, a false environment. Yet they mm -hmm. can interact with it. Now, do, do you put like false uh, credentials and hashes on? Because like some we of do. the popular attacks are Mimi Cats That's exactly. and Pass the Hash. So you're addressing those problems as well. We are, that's a great example. The, we're staying abreast of what the attacker would actually do. Mm -hmm. So if they're looking up any sort of uh, information or attribute that they need for reconnaissance, we're able to basically fake them out by giving them information that they think is valuable, setting off an alert because they interacted with that information, and then not allowing so, them to use it to like their advantage. Like when they query for stored credentials on a host for Mimikatz, yes, you're giving them fake stuff. That's right. That that's immensely useful. It's hugely, it's and it's coming yeah. from the attacker's perspective at that endpoint, mm -hmm. which is great because if you look at it from a network perspective, 
I don't want anybody to touch my Active Directory at mm -hmm. all, and I don't want to add new elements to my topology, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want a bunch of virtual machines. I don't want a bunch of changes to my topology. I've already got enough problems as it is. Mm -hmm. So what I need is something that's very lightweight, non-intrusive, mm -hmm. doesn't make the end user have to do anything. And in our case, a Javelin, it is not detectable on that endpoint. So an attacker nor the end user knows that it's a fake environment. Interesting. Well, that's awesome. It's that sounds cool. like uh, fantastic technology and solves one of the, the hot button issues for me today is that uh, inefficiency in deploying Active Directory, yeah. which I'm told is by, again, I've uh, done for, read formal studies from pen test companies right. and I've talked to my other friends in pen test uh, uh, companies today yeah. and they all use the same techniques, which I think uh, your product is addressing directly. Yeah, we're trying to address exactly where, actually, if you look back at the last three, four years of advanced persistent threats, mm -hmm. every single one of them, including Office of Personnel Management, which is the largest hack in the history of a United States government, was all done through a credential. Yeah. That's all, right? Credential theft. Mm -hmm. And then moving off of that to then place some malware. Well, if you're able to you know, prevent that credential theft from happening, none of these attacks would be happening. The other alternative is just say, don't use Windows Active Directory. Yeah. <laughs> that's Good luck not going to happen, exactly. Microsoft <laughs> wouldn't necessarily permit that, but, uh, you know, but that's the real answer. Uh, but going back to your original question of what's the issue, logic does not define how the security industry is actually implemented. And I think that's what we're seeing is how can we fill in some of these gaps that even the products are missing because people have thought in a very linear fashion or a very logical fashion. And this is, a, this is one that people have just kind of omitted it's, we kind of call it, um, you know, hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. How is it that the biggest directory in your entire organization, more important than any financial database or anything else, is completely exposed by design because of Microsoft's implementation of Active Directory? That's a Fantastic. problem. Fantastic. Greg, thank you very hey, much. Hey, thank you very much. Enjoyed it. <laughs>